Going carnivore in Thailand, day number 29. Tomorrow will be day number 30, my 30th day on carnivore lifestyle. That carnivore lifestyle, let me tell you, I've got some thoughts on that. First off, scale was kind to me a day. Lost two tenths of a kilo, 0 0.2 kilo. That's 0 0.4 pounds. Uh, that lion scale, you never know what's going on. Um, my arms feeling a little better. I can, I can sort of get to here now and, uh, better exercising in the pool helps. Uh, while I was in the pool, I was in the pool during sunset and the clouds have very unique look to them. I'm going to put that video up right behind me as I speak or over top of me as I speak or whatever I end up doing because I wanted to give a little thanks for the wonderful life I have. I'm alive. I'm well. Uh, I've got problems like everybody else, but they're probably not as bad as some. I know they're not as bad as some. So, therefore, I'm fortunate. Last night, I had this fantastic bacon. Well, no, no, no. Last night, I had this fantastic thick pork chop. And Noy did a wonderful job cooking it. She cooked it in the oven, I think, uh, which is a little different. And then this morning, she cooked the these like, well, I think they were chicken leg with a little bit of meat above the leg, a little thigh, and they were wrapped in bacon, and she baked them in the oven. So we have bacon-wrapped chicken. Very good. And tonight I'm having a grass-fed ribeye, two inches thick. It's in the sous vide right now. I'm cooking it at a 54-degree rare temperature. Then when I take it out of the sous vide, I'm immediately going to put it in the freezer. And I'm going to put it in the freezer to try to bring its temperature down and trying to get it, it cool on the inside. And that way, I'll leave it in there for maybe 35 minutes to an hour in the freezer. Then when I bring it out to, to sear it, and I guess we'll sear it, I don't know, maybe we'll sear it on a skillet. Who knows? Or we'll put it in the air fryer. Either way, we'll stick a meter in it so we don't overcook the inside. And that meter thermometer will tell us when the inside gets back up to temperature. It'll also tell me what temperature the inside's at when I put it in the freezer or when I take it out of the freezer. The one thing you don't want to do is when you sear that steak, you don't want to get the inside to raise the uh, cooking up to medium or well done. So you want to keep the inside uh, underneath the temperature where you want it, which is rare to medium rare. So I'm just a little new night putting it in the freezer to rest it before I sear it. Uh, other than that, I'll let you know how that comes out. Now tomorrow, day 30, I'll probably do some pictures in my shorts and, and so forth. Uh, see if I can see any difference in before and after for the first 30 days. If my arm wasn't injured from that fall, I'd be doing really good. At least the day I got in the pool, I was able to exercise, tread water with my arms, a little breaststroke. Uh, painful, but it's, it's a way of working past the pain and, and getting your muscles back in so anyway 
I wish thank you all for the well wishes. Please like, share, comment. Uh, growing a channel's damn tough, but if I can, one, I know in my mind I'm not giving up. And I want to convey that determination to others out there who might think, well, I'm fat, I'm old, it's too late now. No, it's not too late now. You can do it. You can give it your best every single day. And that's the best you can ever do. So. That's all, folks.